Mike, Chris, congratulations on making it to the second and final round, the Run With It Challenge. We're gonna talk about lawnmowers, a machine near and dear to my heart. It hasn't changed very much, and it still does one thing very well. It cuts your grass, and that's where you two come in. Inside your crates are materials needed to build a custom, multifunctional landscaping machine. It will have to be able to tackle grass, weeds, bushes, and hedges. And there's one big addition. What do they have, Tim? I tossed in a riding lawnmower. I actually did toss it in, it would be kind of heavy, and if I actually tossed a riding lawnmower, I would pull my groin, and nobody wants to see that. Nobody. With the mower, redesign it, build it up, just make a machine that can whack weeds, and trim hedges, and bushes. You're also going to have to incorporate your recliner and food tray, so people <laughs> like Tim can work and eat in total comfort. Show us you're the superior maker. Look at the size of this thing. My name is Michael Harvey. I'm a theatrical rigger and a general contractor, and I live in Beverly Hills, California. The dude lives in Beverly Hills. I didn't see that coming. I have a pretty broad skill set. My carpentry is what I call slash and burn style. Just cut that sucker, burn through the wood, and make it into something that's useful. Nice. I like that. This forge I actually built after watching a YouTube video and started doing blacksmithing. If you can imagine things, who knows what the possibilities are? Well, I like the fact that there's a guy with an anvil and a forge uh -huh. in Beverly Hills. Okay. So there's somebody going, uh, Dolly, get me another lime ricky. What's that noise? King, king, <laughs> king. <laughs> My name is Chris Epieri, and I'm from Seacliff, New York. Oh, boy. I started out as a mechanic when I was 14 or 15. I moved into construction. When I'm not at my day job, I'm always in the shop. Fabricating, welding, woodworking. I also make YouTube videos and educational content for the internet. Tim and Richard, I want you guys to know, I want to knock this one out of the park. I want to take all the skills that I have and the stuff I've learned, and I want to come out with a win. Okay, I'm gonna try to assemble the hotas. So I can control the weed eater and the trimmer, except it's, uh, it's gonna be up here in front on the mower. Looks like Owen Wilson's brother. It is. Interesting design. The challenge is going to be how well all these elements work together. What the? Huh. Does Mike think he's building a ship? What's the deal with the rigging? That's for the spinnaker. You know, <laughs> in case you get a nice windy no, day. He's got a weed whacker. Crank this baby, and it'll raise it up. Oh, that's cool. I can't tell if it's better or just different from what Chris has going on. It works. It works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, now our seat is mounted. Look how quick you got the chair on there. And you didn't have to take it apart. What I'm going to be building here is kind of a telescoping tube with a crossbar on it. We're going to be able to pull both of the tools right to it, move it up and down, side to side. And we'll be able to adjust the way that these things interact with the ground and the hedges. I love it. Come on, baby. What more can you ask for? There you go. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Chris gave us a take no prisoners yard machine complete with a propane torch to incinerate pesky weeds and a winch to rip out stumps or tow your neighbor's car that blocks the driveway. <laughs> his redesigned shock absorbing tray sports a fan and you can control his weed whacker and hedge trimmer from the comfort of its fully functioning recliner. It's got all the bells and whistles, but does it really deliver yard domination? Mike concentrated on luxury and style with his landscaping machine. It gave us a series of cables and pulleys to adjust his tools that would be at home on any yacht. He included a sunshade and widened his recliner for comfort. To keep you out of the yard where danger zone, he integrated a jet fighter inspired control system for operating his weed whacker and hedge trimmer. And because every luxury vehicle needs a personalized set of tags, Mike hand sculpted and cast in steel an assembly required license plate. Kind of sucking up, but uh, great custom touch. They should work like they came from the factory ready to trim hedges and go through grass like a hungry cow. So we've set up some grass and hedges to trim. 
When? <laughs> Hedge trimmer's working like a charm. Control's great. Let's test the weed whacker. Great position and controls. I'm getting maximum grass cut. Bravo, Tim, bravo. Thank you, now you take a shot. the gate. I'm having problems with the weed whacker controls. It's hard to steer and operate the HOTUS control. <laughs> I'm coming for you! Here I come! The controls interfere with the steering, not getting clean cuts. Oh my God, was that fun! It's time to deliberate. Design, what do you think? Mike and Chris incorporated their original builds with the tables, Yeah. with Mike's. There's a lot of pulley stuff going on here. Design, I think I'm going Mike. He's made it so you can set and forget the position of the tools. And visually, it's monochromatic. Did a little bit of style work. They're both gorgeous. Oh God, you wouldn't come up with another word, gorgeous. Design for Mike. Next one up. OK, we've got Ingenuity. They're both very ingenious. Yes, they are. Chris gave you a fan. Mike gave me shade. Chris gave me a flamethrower. Mike Jeez. just put flames on it. And Chris gave you a, a, winch. a winch. I yeah. think that is the winner. I think so, too. I think we have to go with this. It really satisfied the challenge of being multifunctional. Ingenuity, yeah. Chris. Next, functionality. Based on how you drove, I don't know what all that. Drove. I was having trouble driving because the trigger on the HOTUS was difficult to use. I don't know. I kind of like the fact that both of yours are on different sides. That seemed like a bad idea, but now it seems like a good idea. Because if I had to do this, weed whack, and there was stuff in the way, and vice versa, I wouldn't be able to do it. We're down to functionality. All right. We have bad news to tell somebody. I'm going to well, run into We had this. a lot of fun. April, come on over. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Good. Hey there, Mike, Chris. Good to see you guys. It's Richard, Tim, and April. You remember us. <laughs> Try to pretend you recognize us. First things first, you both did incredible work. It was a blast watching you guys do it, but Richard's got some news that one of you's going to like. The maker with the winning comfort mower is Chris, Chris, congratulations, you're the winner. How are you feeling about that? Thank you guys so much. Awesome. I'm very you're excited. welcome, Thank man. Thank you very much, guys. And you get $5,000. Excellent, that's amazing. Courtesy of iFixit. They're also gonna be sending you both the ultimate fixer kit. Mike, I gotta tell you, it was a lot of fun watching you work, it really was. But at the end of the day, we felt like Chris's build was a little more functional and had a tiny bit more ingenuity. Mike, your hands on the throttle and stick controls were a clever idea, but they didn't seem to work. Made the mower really hard to drive. I didn't win, but I'm proud of my mower. Competing for Tim and Richard was fantastic. It's a dream come true. There was so much good about both of your machines. And it was great to have you aboard. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Honestly, I'm so happy with the way the whole build came out. I got a big smile on my face. I put a lot of my skills and a lot of passion into this project. I'm super proud of it.